JFT just fair and direct. Good morning everyone and welcome to JFD's daily market review for May the 27th. I am Harala Mospisuros, Head of Research here at JFD. And I will talk about yesterday's main market movers, what's my opinion moving ahead, what are today's important events and how they could affect the markets. But before we start, let's read our disclaimer. The content we produce does not constitute investment advice or investment recommendation, should not be considered as such, and does not in any way constitute an invitation to acquire any financial instrument or product. I will leave you a few seconds uh, to read the rest and then we will jump into our analysis. Okay, the US dollar traded lower against uh, all the other major currencies on Thursday during the Asian session Friday, losing the most ground versus the commodity linked uh, currencies Aussie, Kiwi, and Looney. The greenback underperformed the list against uh, the safe havens, uh, franc and yen. Now, in our view, this clearly points to a risk on trading activity, and indeed, turning our gaze to the equity world, we see that all European and US. Uh, equity indices traded in the green with a positive morale rolling into the Asian session today. Among the indices under our radar, only China Shanghai Composite traded uh, slightly negative. Now, despite the UK FTSE 100 uh, gaining the least among uh, the, let's say, the European indices, uh, all the other ones were led by gains in the retail sector. Uh, all the European markets were led by gains in the retail sector after the UK government revealed a new fiscal stimulus plan to support the economy. Specifically, they announced a £15 uh, billion pounds, uh, package of support to households uh, struggling with energy bills, as well as a 25% a windfall uh, tax on oil and gas producers' uh, profits. Sterling has been hit hard in the recent past by increasing fears that the, UK, that the UK economy is headed towards a recession, with the Bank of England projecting a contraction next year. Thus, the support, the fiscal support may have eased such concerns, and that's why we saw the pound adding gains. This could also make the Bank of England's job much easier as officials have been in a situation where they need to keep raising rates in order to contain inflation, but also be careful not to harm the economy more. So the government's stimulus announcements, uh, the, the government's stimulus announcement could allow officials to keep raising interest rates more freely, at least for now, and thereby allow the British currency to enjoy some more gains. Now, sentiment remains supported during the US session as well due to optimistic retail earnings outlooks, which add to the confidence by Fed officials expressed in the minutes of the latest FOMC gathering. Perhaps market participants uh, also started thinking that the Fed could take a break after delivering uh, the price in double hikes in June and July. In the minutes, it was noted that a number of officials said uh, that uh, data had begun to indicate that inflation may no longer be worsening. However, they also agreed that it is too early to be confident that inflation has already peaked. We agree with them, and with Powell saying the, that, and with Powell saying in the aftermath of that gathering that they are willing to do more if inflation does not slow to desired levels we are not so convinced over a pause in rate increases after summer. We prefer to wait uh, for more data suggesting that inflation is cooling. Yes, the core PC index today could reveal a slowdown for the month of, um, uh, of April, but in our view, this is something already expected as the core CPI metric for the month, which is decently correlated to the core PCE has already revealed a slowdown. 
So with all that in mind, equities could continue gaining for a while more on raising economic concerns and some hopes over a break uh, by the Fed uh, after summer. But with the first uh, sign of inflation turning uh, back up, we would expect a turnaround. The US dollar could continue correcting lower for a while more due to uh, the Fed speculation. So that's it uh, from me. Thank you very much for watching and listening. For those who are interested in learning about the main events of the week much earlier, you can subscribe to the weekly Market Outlook webinar, which I'm holding every Monday at 7 o'clock a.m. GMT. You can find the link in the description below. So, goodbye, have a great day, a great weekend, and I'm looking forward to seeing you here again next week. JFT, just fair and direct.